The Orchidaceae is a diverse and widespread family of flowering plants with blooms that are often colorful and fragrant, commonly known as the orchid family. Along with the Asteraceae, they are one of the two largest families of flowering plants, distributed in about 763 genera. The determination of which family is larger is still under debate because verified data on the members of such enormous families are continually in flux. Regardless, the number of orchid species nearly equals the number of bony fishes and is more than twice the number of bird species and about four times the number of mammal species. The family encompasses about 6 to 11 percent of all seed plants. The largest genera are Bulbophyllum, 2,000 species, Epidendrum, 1,500 species, Dendrobium, 1,400 species, and Plurothallus, 1,000 species. It also includes vanilla, the genus of the vanilla plant, the type genus Orchis, and many commonly cultivated plants such as Phalaenopsis and Catellia. Moreover, since the introduction of tropical species into cultivation in the 19th century, horticulturists have produced more than 100,000 hybrids and cultivars. Orchids are easily distinguished from other plants as they share some very evident shared derived characteristics or synapomorphies. Among these are bilateral symmetry of the flower, zygomorphism, many respunate flowers, a nearly always highly modified petal, labellum, fused stamens and carpels, and extremely small seeds. All orchids are perennial herbs that lack any permanent woody structure. They can grow according to two patterns. Monopodial, the stem grows from a single bud, leaves are added from the apex each year, and the stem grows longer accordingly. The stem of orchids with a monopodial growth can reach several meters in length, as in Vanda and Vanilla. Sympodial. Sympodial orchids have a front and newest growth and a back, the oldest growth. The plant produces a series of adjacent shoots, which grow to a certain size, bloom, and then stop growing and are replaced. Sympodial orchids grow laterally rather than vertically, following the surface of their support. The growth continues by development of new leaves with their own leaves and roots, sprouting from or next to those of the previous year, as in Catellia. While a new lead is developing, the rhizome may start its growth again from a so-called eye, an undeveloped bud, thereby breaching. Sympodial orchids may have visible pseudobulbs joined by a rhizome, which creeps along the top or just beneath the soil. Terrestrial orchids may be rhizomatous or form corms or tubers. The root caps of terrestrial orchids are smooth and white. Like most monocots, orchids generally have simple leaves with parallel veins, although some Vanellaladea have reticulate venation. Leaves may be ovate, lanceolate, or orbiculate and very variable in size on the individual plant. The Orchidaceae are well known for the many structural variations in their flowers. Some orchids have single flowers, but most have a racemose inflorescence, sometimes with a large number of flowers. The flowering stem can be basal, that is, produced from the base of the tuber, like in Cymbidium, apical, meaning it grows from the apex of the main stem, like in Catalea, or auxiliary, from a leaf axle, as in Vanda. As in apomorphy of the clade, orchid flowers are primitively zygomorphic, bilaterally symmetrical, although in some genera, such as Mormodus, Ludicia, and Macodus, this kind of symmetry may be difficult to notice. Some species, such as Phalaenopsis, Dendrobium, and Vanda, produce offshoots or plantlets formed from one of the nodes along the stem through the accumulation of growth hormones at that point. These shoots are known as Kiki.